In Pakistan's workshops, scrap metal isn't trash, it's raw material. Watch as they magically transform junk into premium truck brake drums using barely more than basic tools. The process begins with the primary material for the mold. The sand is mixed with used oil to form a green sand mold, which remains soft enough for shaping, but hardens under pressure. A metal pattern is pressed into the sand to create the mold cavity. Before compacting the sand, talc or graphite-based parting powder is dusted onto the pattern to prevent the sand from sticking, ensuring a clean mold separation. The mold is split into two halves, which are carefully aligned using guide pins. The man carefully collected scattered metal fragments and loaded them into an industrial furnace. As he ignited the flames, the smelting process began inside the furnace. It looked like the jet engine of a fighter plane they had shot down. The liquid metal is transferred using a ladle and poured into the mold through a sprue. Ensure no shrinkage voids form as the metal cools. After pouring, the casting cools for several hours and the sand mold is broken apart using manual tools. The rough casting is extracted, still covered in burnt sand and oxide layers. The brake drum is mounted on a heavy-duty lathe where the outer diameter, inner diameter, and friction surfaces are precision machined to tight tolerances. A jig with pre-configured bore patterns was employed to perforate the steel plate, ensures perfect hole spacing for precise wheel mounting. And now our truck's brake drums are fresh out the forge. Time to make another scrap metal run through the war zone. Oh!